I'm working with Word 2016 talking about possibly doing a reference paper, a term paper, a thesis, working with references, footnotes, etc. through a document. I have this file on Tigers here. We have a few things we want to do. First thing I want to talk about are footnotes. You tend to put a footnote between before the period. I'm at the first page here, so to do a footnote, I'm going to go on to references. A footnote and a footer are two different things. A footnote is referencing information in the document. A footer is a page number, a chapter. You can also do an endnote where it appears on the last page. I'm going to click on insert footnote. Goes to the bottom of the page. It puts a little one there. And what I want to do is add some information based on research in National Graphic Geographic. We have that in there. What's also interesting, if you put a footnote in before here, before underside, I click here, it's going to renumber them. So if I'm on references, insert footnote, you got a new number here. Check for stripes with strong contrast. A lot of this is being made up. And you can see I spelled geographic wrong. You know how to do a spell check. I could right click in here and fix it. Next thing I want to talk about, you could do footnotes. I, I'm sorry, comments. And I'm going to say I need a comment here. I could go into here and I could put in here, I could right click or I could say insert comment. I tend to do the right clicking in here. You could do that on review. There it is here. Comments. And then it has my name in here. People can respond to them. Dates need to be verified. So I click over here. It can print with or without it. When you're about to print, you'd have to go into the setup and the print preview screen. And if you don't want the comments showing up in here, you could reply to it. But let's say you right click inside here. I want to get rid of it. What do I do? I can reply or I could delete the comment. Next thing we want to do are citations. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to click inside here. Again, you always put it before the period. I'm back on References. I want to do a citation. You could use different styles. You have a whole bunch of them. But let's say you want to use the Chicago style. I'm going to say insert citation. It's a new source. An add new placeholder is repeating the same one again. I'm going to say add new source. And let us say that this is from a journal article, a magazine. You have different choices here. The author is Louise Nesser. The title of the magazine, I mean the title of the article is Persia. I'm just abbreviating here. And we're just going to go into zoology monthly. Let's say it was 2008. It was on pages 13 through 20. You could show all the bibliography fields if you need to add them. I could go in here and add the month. I could type in January if necessary. And you could add a lot more information in here. Um, this is a lot. Most times you don't need it. It depends on what you're doing this for, where people are going to want to know these things, especially if you're working with scientific research. 
it's going to say Nesser 2008. I want to go into another one, do another reference here. And I'm going to go into characteristics here. And let's say somebody wrote a book. And I'm going to add another citation. I'm going to say insert citation, add new source. And this is going to be a book. This book is by Martin McDonald. The title of the book is Habits of Tigers. This was written in 1982. Again, I could show all the fields again. And you could go into these, go into here, a lot of things in here. I'm going to say OK. So it's putting this within the document. That is a citation. What I want to do now, I want to talk about doing a footer. A footer is a page number on every page. A lot of different ways to do it. Um, I go to insert. Footer. For those of you who are just doing a basic thing here, you could go into, let's say, blank three columns. I could type in here. I could type in my name. And then I might want to put the page number in here. I delete the placeholder. I'm going to type in page. And what I do is I click in page number in the design tab here I say current position plain number I'm on page 2 and then over here I might wanna say the date or the copyright date copyright 2018 and since the text is touching up there I might wanna press the enter key I close out of the header and footer so this will be on every page. What I want to do next, I want to do a table of contents. I know we only have a few pages here. I'm going to go to the beginning of the page. I'm going to put the enter key a couple of times. What it's doing here, I'm going to explain this. The table of contents are based on styles. It's based on heading one, heading two, heading three, depending on the levels here. But I want to go here, highlight these two things here. I want to make it normal. And then what I'm going to do next, I have to go back into references. I'm going to go into table of contents. You can, you, you can go into the manual where it gets a lot more detailed. You can do automatic table one, automatic table two. I'm going to stick with this one. So it shows the pages, <coughs> but it's very nice. You can click on something. It takes you to the that section, so it goes into this. Um, next thing we're going to do, we need to put a bibliography in here. Based on those citations, I go to the end of the document. I'm going to add a new page. Control Enter, Command Enter if it's a Mac. And what I need to do is my bibliography. I could call it References Works Site. It depends on what it is. I use the built in features bibliography. Now, watch this. Um, you look at the table of contents. Hmm. It hasn't, does that bibliography in there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to force Tigers to the next page. I'm going to go up here. I right click inside the table or the table of contents. I update field. I would do this update entire table. So what it's showing is bibliography. And if you were to do this, it doesn't show it. You've got to update. I scroll through the document. Other thing I want to do. Let's say I want characteristics and evolution to go to the next page. 
I could do a hard page break, but I'm going to show you how to keep lines together. I'm going to highlight these, this text here. What I'm going to do, I'm on layout. I'm going to click on the paragraph launcher. And I go to line and page breaks. This is black here, but you want these three things checked off. You say, okay. I always advise people, go through the screen, scroll through it, do the print preview, so that way you're not wasting paper. Another thing that often happens, you get a blank sheet in between your report. And since I moved things to another page, of course, the pagination change. Other thing too, you want to change where it says taxonomy and etymology. Let's say I just want to call it etymology. I mean taxonomy. I go up here. I right click. Update field. It fixed everything. It changed captions, page numbers, etc.